Welcome back to Mad Outdoor Adventures. Today I'm going to be unboxing, using, and giving a full review on my Eskimo 8 inch pistol bit auger. Stay tuned. Welcome to Mad Outdoor Adventures. Let's find an adventure. Alright, guys, so I picked this up at the Ultimate Fishing Show. It made a brief appearance in the fishing show haul video that I did. If you haven't checked that out, it's up here. Um, or it might be over here. I don't really remember, but it's there. So I picked this auger up. I wanted, so some backstory here, right? I'm tired of gasoline. I don't have an auger as it is, but as far as like my everyday life, like all my yard tools are going electric, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm just tired of dealing with gasoline. So I didn't want a gas auger. They have propane augers. I didn't want one of those. They're heavy. Um, I don't want to carry around more propane bottles. I need it for my heater if I do go ice fishing. Um, although they're nice, I just didn't want to deal with it. So I wanted electric. I was looking at the Ion, right? Like this is probably the best electric auger there is from what I know, right? The only thing with the Ion it's pretty expensive and looking at it looking at it looking at it I started looking last year of course when ice fishing stuff was like you can't find anything anywhere and couldn't find one and so I started doing research and it's nice but it's expensive and it ends up as a package weighing more than this would with a drill so I looked this one up Everybody was talking great about it. I was like, I might as well. I wanted to go this route simply because the drill and this is actually a little bit cheaper than the Ion. And it's lighter. So the Ion might be better than this. But for what I'm doing, how much I actually ice fish with so far in my life is like six times. This will do just fine. So I picked this one up. Now, I know the earlier versions of the 8 inch, a lot of guys weren't liking it too much because it didn't have a center bit, so it would walk on you. They fixed that. I don't know when they fixed that, but it is definitely part of this one here because I can see it on this picture. Also, a lot of guys are saying, you know, it's good for early ice when you're running and gunning, but, you know, thick ice, it might not be that good. I don't know. It's going to be thick ice that we're using it on because this is, like, towards the end. So there's probably, like, you know, 12 plus inches of ice that I want to try to drill through. So we'll see how that goes. But if it works, I think it's going to be great. And I'm really excited to have one. And I can't wait to use it. So what I'm going to start off with is just tell you the different stuff on the box. It says it's under four pounds. It's the lightest drill auger on the market. Weight is a big deal, um, especially if you're dragging stuff around like I'm going to have to because I don't have a snowmobile or a four-wheeler or anything like that yet. Although, I do have a Rottweiler, and I think I want to take him and have him drag the sled because those Rottweilers were bred to like haul carts and stuff, so I think I might. See if I can get him to haul the sled for me. But anyways, features. Impact resistant Palmer float or flight. I think that's the what it's made out of. Has a hexagonal aluminum shaft. Bit saving top plate. So that top plate, I assume, is bigger than 8 inches. So that way, if it falls out of the drill, it doesn't go in a hole. I mean, that would be worrisome anyway, so I, hopefully I'll never find that out. So it's lightweight, it has a true 8 inch diameter, it includes a center point, high strength cutting head, it cuts smooth and efficient, and it's great for re-drilling frozen holes. Okay, with the pistol bit though, you are going to need a heavier duty drill. I didn't have a heavier duty drill, I had a basic Ryobi, but 
I ended up getting a heavier duty drill. We'll talk about that in a minute. But the drill requirements, you have to have a side stabilizer arm so that way you can have a two-handed grip. Otherwise, I would assume it would just snap your wrist. Um, a half-inch drill chuck. It needs to be an 18 volt, at least a four amp lithium ion battery or higher. A brushless motor, and it has to have a minimum of 725 inches slash pounds, inch pounds of torque. So it has to be a pretty heavy duty drill. Uh, we'll talk about the one I got and other ones that I've seen guys have. So I think that is everything as far as the information on the box. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And take a look at what's inside. This is going to be awkward because this is a big box. And this here, but let's pull this guy out. Put him on the table. So it comes with this top part. Just, I guess, center it in the box. And just garbage. And it looks like there's instructions or something in there. So there you go. Get rid of the boxes. So this looks like the instructions. It has warranty registration, so I'm gonna register it. And the serial number, so I'm gonna save that. And I'll look at those at a different time. Let me just check this thing out. So as far as light, it is light. It says under four pounds, but I thought it was 4.8. Maybe it's 3.8 pounds. Yeah, 3.8 is what it's supposed to be. I don't know. It does seem light. Um, it comes with this pie plate up top to try to save it from going in the hole. It has this piece of cardboard on top that tells you the requirements for the drill and like uh, caution information, safety information, so that way you don't hurt yourself. So that's good to know. It has the Eskimo label some warning signs here it is like i said plastic or polymer that worries me a little bit like i, I know this ain't going to be doing the cutting but that's how they save weight so we'll see how that holds up over time a lot of guys love these things so i assume it'll be fine but it's just me worrying a little bit because i want to protect my investment this I think it was 200 bucks. It was the standard price that you can find them anywhere. Looks like it has a blade cover, so I'm gonna take this off. It's just a bungee cord kind of thing. And then there's the business end with the center point and the two blades. A little scary. It looks like it will cut you for sure. So don't just grab that or whatever. Use this. Always make sure that that safety cover is on. You don't want to bleed out on ice or anything like that. That'd be terrible. So I'm excited to use it. Let's see here. So the drill that I got for it. I already assembled it, is the Milwaukee Fuel Brushless M18. The reason why I got this drill is because I remember seeing on their website, Eskimo's website, they suggested this drill to begin with, or it was some website that was selling it, I don't know, suggested this one. There are other brands that can do it, like DeWalt and... Um, Makota, 
I mean, even some rigid, there's guys using rigid drills for it. But I figured I might as well go with the original recommended one. I know this ain't a drill review, but this handle goes on here. It locks on pretty well. I don't think I'm going to have any issues with it. The minimum requirements is like 725 inches of torque or inch pounds or whatever, however they judge that. This one has 1200, so I think I'm going to be good. It has five amp hour batteries, so I think this will fit the bill. I did weigh this off camera separately. It's saying this whole unit here weighs six pounds. It's possible, it doesn't quite feel like six pounds, but the scale doesn't lie, right? So, all together you're looking at nine pounds, ten pounds, versus I think the ion's like 18, 20. I don't know, I'd have to look for sure, but it cuts the weight quite a bit, and it was cheaper together, because I got this for 200, and this was the whole package with two batteries the charger in the case i got it for three all right guys so here i am with the eight inch eskimo pistol bit with the milwaukee fuel drill i want to test it out i'm not actually really fishing today but i just want to you know, work my new toy so i want to take the cover off and as i showed you before you see that nice spike and the blades that center point is supposed to help so this is my first time ever drilling a hole in ice so we'll see what happens oh, that was no good let's try that again let's try that again you're right did you get through it to water i don't see water no. keep drilling go you're going at an angle. What? I don't think that ice is. No one here. Yeah, I don't know how deep it is out here, and I'm afraid hitting the bottom. But let's keep going. Yeah. I think so. There's water. <laughs> Got it. That just made your daddy really happy. Welcome, so, daddy. A couple of things here. Welcome, daddy. Is I don't think this is made for this thick of ice. Why? I don't know. It, it is. Keeps, it keeps bogging down. Let me try to change the setting here. Put your pole down there, bud. Hold on. It's not all the way through here. There's water there. I think it's not made for drilling in the water, Daddy. There we go. Alright, there you come. So All I right. think we should drill another one. So that was my first hole. It didn't go very well. I want to try <laughs> another one. I think it was a setting on the drill. I don't know. So I'm going to go one over here. So that way I'm not too close to that one just in case. Wait a minute. Let me check. Let me check how thin it is. Yep, it's good. Alright, so give me some space. Back up. In case I fall in. Whoa! That was a lot better. So it was a setting on the drill. That was that my bad. But the look water. at that. I drilled a hole nice and I'm happy as shit about it. I don't have a scooper though, so we're gonna have to try to see. I'm gonna drill another one. Let's check how thin this is. Your dad's having fun drill holes. <laughs> that 
There we go, boy. <laughs> so why don't you tell the people at home what setting the drill was on and what you had to have it on? So this thing here was on two and it kept bogging down. I changed it to one and now it's perfect. So that must be a torque. I don't really know. I'm not really a real big tool guy. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments below what that is, but you have to have it on one. All right, one more hole. <laughs> Maybe. Now we're gonna have to like push that slush in those holes. But... Yeah. Can I try it? So that way there's not a mound there. So that way it helps it freeze over faster. Let's beat ahead. Ready? Ready, time go. Me, time me, see how fast I can go, ready? Ready. Three. Two, one, go. <laughs> That's quite a bit of ice. I don't know. I mean, I guess I can stick my hand down there and measure it. But... And it's light. It's nice because it's light. I could probably carry this around all day and not worry about it. The only thing I was worried about, honestly, um, as I said before, is this is plastic, but it doesn't seem to matter at all. Finally got a, a sweet auger to uh, go ice fishing. So half of the battle's there. But uh, a lot of guys online said it's good for early ice, that it's not really good for late ice. Probably because of the battery. I don't know, let me see. Still have four, I mean, I wouldn't expect it to go down, but I still have four bars. I drove four holes. This is late ice. And this is late ice. That's probably at least 13 inches of ice. So I don't, I don't know. I think it's going to do great. It's eight inch hole. If I ever go after some giant fish somewhere else, I might get a 10 inch something, but this would definitely do the, the job. And I'm tickle pink with it. So. You want to drill another one, Daddy? You want me to drill another one? Well, if you want to. Okay, I'll drill one. <coughs> Don't go too close to the docks. Ready? You gonna check it for me? Is it good? Start drilling! So I don't have to carry around like a 30 pound machine. I know like those electric ones are lighter than that, but they're not as light as this. There it is in the field. To me, it works great. I'm tickled pink. I can't wait to use it, even though I might not be able to use it too much this year because it's getting late in the season. All right, so I drilled quite a bit of holes. I'm gonna have my wife do it to see if she's able to do it. Just like for Just pull the trigger? Just make sure it's up, straight up and down. There's really no work at all. You just push the button <laughs> and just make sure it doesn't spin on you, but it's not tiresome at all. I think it was worth the investment. You want to try? Mine isn't like crazy because sure. I wasn't like, yeah, <laughs> on the <laughs> way up. Sure. All right, so let the boy try. Let's go over here some. Hold on to this part tight, okay? All right, push the trigger. Hold on to this tight. Okay. Hold on, hold on to that tight. I'll pull the trigger. You want to pull the trigger? Mm -hmm. oh. You gotta be careful. <laughs> oh, pull that up before it goes away. <laughs> Don't pull the trigger. Well, that didn't turn out pretty well. That's way better than you guys. All right, what? so definitely. That's way better than you guys. Adults, not kids. But it wasn't that bad. We almost lost it though. You lost the glove. All right. So. It could. It can't fall in the hole, honey. This would have been on the ice. Yeah. 
that has to, has two things to hold That it. was pretty good. Look, you did it. High five. Yeah, you were just excited to pull the trigger and you it's, forgot it's, to hold this it's part. All right, buddy. Don't worry about it. Here. All right, so we're back from the lake. And this thing is awesome. Like, I was so excited to drill. I drilled probably like seven holes just having fun. My wife said I reminded her of Tim the Toolman Taylor. <laughs> um, but it was it was awesome. It cuts through the ice, no problem. I did have problems on that first hole, as you guys probably noticed. But I, that was my fault. I had it in the wrong setting. Here, once I changed the setting, it zipped through the ice without an issue. And there was quite a bit of ice there. I didn't measure it, but if I had to guess probably like 13 inches it was thick ice no problem my wife used it she had no problem it's not quite I mean it's not its fault but kids probably once they know what they're doing they'll be able to use it too but my son had some difficulty but overall great system it's lightweight cuts through the ice even thick ice I don't think I'm going to have any kind of problem with it uh, going forward. I'm really excited to actually really put it through its paces. But that's probably going to have to wait until next year because it's getting towards the end of ice fishing season here. But I would definitely recommend it from what I've seen so far. If you're looking for a lightweight option, maybe you already have the drill. Like maybe you're a construction guy or just like good tools and you already have one. I mean, 200 bucks, you have an auger and lightweight, you can run around the world with it. I mean, it's awesome. So I'm happy with it and I think it's going to do its job for sure. So if you like today's video, give me that thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more outdoor content coming your way. As always, thanks for watching and I'll find you on the next adventure.